In this example, I'd like to create a menu that we can print for our bakery that shows a list of our products and their prices. We're going to need to create a report that uses multiple tables, and the easiest way to do that is by using the report wizard. First, we'll go to the Create tab, and in the Reports group, select Report Wizard. We'll start by choosing the fields that we want in our report. If you click the drop-down arrow, you'll see a list of all of the tables and queries in your database. And we're going to add fields from several different tables. From the Categories table, we're going to need the Product Types field. And you can either double-click it or click the right arrow button to add it. Next, we'll choose the Products table. And here we'll add the product name and description. From the Sales Unit table, we'll add the product name, which in this case is just dozen, half dozen, or single. And finally, from the Menu Items table, we'll need the price. So all of these fields are going to be placed into our report. Now click Next. Since we're using multiple tables, we need to decide how we want the tables to be organized on the page. If we had just used a single table or query, then it would have skipped this step. In this case, we want it to be organized by the Categories table. And to the right, you can see a kind of outline which shows where each field will go. Now we'll go on to the next step. Here, you can change the way that the records are grouped by adding a grouping level. Much of the time, you won't need to do anything in this step, but if you have a very specific idea of how you want the report to be organized, then you can add a grouping level. For example, if we wanted the products to be grouped into dozen, half dozen, and single units, then we would add sales unit, and then use the arrows to change the priority. But we don't really want that here, so I'll remove this, and then click Next. Here we can sort the records by up to four fields. I'm going to sort by price, and I'll also change this to descending, so it will start with the highest price. And then click Next. There are a few different layout options that you can choose from. I'm going to select Block because it'll tend to keep things on the same line. I'm going to leave the orientation as Portrait, and I'll also leave the Auto Adjust option checked, so we won't have to do quite as much adjusting at the end. And in the final step, you can type in a name. I'm going to call it Menu Report. And here you can choose whether you want it to open in Print Preview or Design View, but this won't actually affect the report. When you click Finish, it will create the report. And you won't be able to go back into the wizard to edit your report but you can always go to Layout View to make any adjustments that you want. And here's our finished menu.